Hi, in this video, I would like to explain to you the uh, way in which the RPi and the Arduino are actually talking to each other uh, in this week's studio. Okay, uh, so this is important so that we have a good understanding of what exactly is the protocol and how the code works. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the details, okay, but I'm just going to focus on the sections of the code that is related to the protocol. Okay, so the first thing is the uh, data packet structure. Okay, so if you look at the data packet, what we have is we have this uh, structure where we have a few different uh, variables starting with the packet type, okay, the command that you want to send over, uh, some dummy, okay, to make up the four bytes, so one, one, and two make up four bytes to make it a word aligned data. Then subsequently, uh, uh, array for any other data that you want to send and finally another array, array for parameters that you would like to send. Okay, so this uh, packet structure is basically what we're going to use, okay, for the communication between the RPi and the Arduino, okay. And if you look under the constants.h uh, header file, you will see some uh, enumerations, okay, for some of the uh, uh, information that is related to the uh, data that we're going to send and receive between the two devices, okay, things like uh, the packet type, okay, as well as the command type. Okay, so let's uh, start off and look at the RPi code first. So over on the left-hand side here, okay, we have the RPi code. So this first line here is to start off the serial, okay, serial interface uh, with a particular board base settings uh, and data format and everything, okay, and subsequently, uh, what we do over here is we spawn a receiver thread. Okay, so this, uh, basically what it does is, it actually creates a receiver thread, okay? And, uh, and what will happen is, this thread, okay, will run in parallel with the current uh, loop in the main program. Okay, so in the, the loop in the main program will be in charge of sending commands over, okay? So this is the transmit part, okay, to send commands over to the uh, Arduino. And this receiver thread, okay, will be running in parallel, okay, to this transmitter thread, okay. Uh, do not, do not to be concerned about this multi-threading. Uh, just know that we are basically having both transmit and receive running concurrently, okay. So that is why the RPI is able to send uh, commands over to the Arduino and at the same time get information back from the Arduino, okay. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, of course, uh, we're going to send a hello packet. Okay, so let's uh, look at this hello packet. In this hello packet, what we do is we create a variable with the same packet structure of T packet, which is what we saw here, okay, the T packet uh, structure. And after we create this uh, variable, uh, this variable, of course, has a lot of uh, parameters. What we're interested in is the packet type, okay? And we say the packet type is packet type hello. Okay, so you can see that there are actually a few different types of uh, packets and the last one here is packet type hello okay and what we are going to do is we are just going to send this packet over okay when we call send packet okay what are we doing okay we're going to come to this function here and in this send packet we are basically serializing the data okay and then writing it to the serial port this serializing is basically what you did in the previous studio if you remember we will copy the entire structure of the array into a memory buffer and then just send it over through the serial port. Okay, so that is what the serialization is doing. Okay, now after we send the hello packet, okay, let me just uh, go down a bit here. Okay, to uh, okay, let me let's go over to the Arduino side. Okay, so on the Arduino side, okay, what is happening is okay, the setup we do all the necessary uh, important uh, activities of the interrupts and uh, IO ports, serial. PWM everything. Okay, in the loop, what do we do? We again have a, a structure here, T packet, and what we do is this T packet is for the receive information. Okay, and the first thing that we do is we, uh, or the thing that we do in the loop continuously is to read the packet. Okay, and after we read the packet, what we do is we uh, see if the result is packet okay, and then we handle packet. Okay, so this result is packet okay is basically trying to check whether we have received uh, the number of bytes that is bigger than zero. Okay, so as long as you receive the number of bytes you're supposed to receive, 
then it is a packet okay so that is the responsibility of the read packet function okay, so this function uh, basically once it re reads the information from the uh, serial port and deserializes it okay it will be able to know whether the data was okay in terms of the size or the checksum or anything if or if any issues okay we would have come to this part of it okay uh, if not we will say the result is okay and then we handle the packet Okay, so the very first packet that we receive is the hello packet. So in that pa uh, hello packet, we don't do anything. All right, it just breaks and it comes back. So we are just always in this loop. Okay, and uh, the next time I repeat the loop, I, I'm stuck here waiting for a new packet to arrive. Okay, so your Arduino code, basically what it does is, after the initial hello packet, okay, it will just uh, wait at this read packet uh, line to wait for the information to come in. Okay, now once the information, uh, so what is the next thing that will happen? The next thing is uh, over the RPI side, we are going to start to send commands over. Okay, so over here, you can see that uh, what we are doing here is we are asking the user to, uh, to key in the alphabet related to what we want the robot to do. Okay, so F is forward, okay, uh, B is reverse and L and so on, okay. So these are the uh, letters associated with the commands. Okay. So let's assume we want the robot to move forward. So I key in a F. Okay. After I capture the F. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this function called send command. Okay. So what does send command do? So let's look at send command. So in send command, I'm going to uh, first create a new variable called command packet and I'm going to say that this, this is a command type packet okay so if I come back here the packet type command over here is one of the uh, types of packet that I can send over okay and what is the next thing I'm going to do since this is uh, moving forward I'm going to call the get parameters function here get params function Okay, and what does this get parents function do? It asks the user for two more information. One is the distance and the other is the power or the speed. Okay, and once I capture this two information, I put it in the parameters array in byte 0 and byte 1. So if you remember over here, I have uh, a parameters array and what I'm doing is I'm just using the first two bytes to solve this two information. And once the parameters function I return from there, the next thing I do is I just update the next uh, element in the structure, which is the command. And I say this is a command forward. Okay, so if you look here, I have a few types of commands. Okay, and now I'm going to use the command forward. And after that, I say send packet. So once I say send packet, what happens? Okay, so the send packet is basically is coming back over here. Okay to serialize the data and send it over the UART. Okay, so let's come back over to the Arduino side. And the Arduino side, basically what is happening is, we were waiting for the data, okay? And once the data is received over here, okay? I will be able to come back, okay? And I will handle the data, okay? So in this case, what have I received? I re received a command packet telling the robot to move forward, okay? So when I come to handle packet, what will it do? It will look at the packet type first, okay? And the packet type is the, uh, this information over here. Okay, so this is the packet type information. And this packet type, as you remember, we have already said the packet type is command. Okay, so the RPI side, we already set the packet type to be command. Okay, so over here, what will happen is, you will also get the uh, same uh, decoding so we will come here we will say it's packet type command and then we will say handle the command okay so this packet that I receive is now going to pass to another function called handle command and inside handle command what do I do I will go through the possible commands okay and uh, in RPI we said that the command was command forward okay so for command forward there's two things I will do I will send okay and I will move the uh, robot forward Okay, so this is basically the function that is supposed to implement all the various movements of the robot. Okay, so for forward, 
or reverse, uh, right, left, and so on. So that those are the things we need to do. Okay. But what is happening here? We are doing two things. We are sending okay and we are moving forward. So for moving forward, if you look back at your uh, code in the Arduino, you basically setting the uh, PWM, okay, the particular value, and then driving the motors. Okay, in terms of the timing, uh, we will uh, also do that as part of the studio. Okay, uh, the send okay. What does the send okay do? The send okay is basically now creating a new packet, okay, which is the packet type response and saying it is okay. And then we're going to call the send response function. Okay, what is the send response function? The send response function is basically uh, to serialize the data and send it over the uh, UART, uh, the serial port. Now, uh, if you remember just now I mentioned that over at the RPI side, both the transmit and receive are happening in parallel. Okay, so this is the transmit part of it. Okay, and this receive thread, it was created. So once this receive thread was created, it was actually running in parallel. So this code here, okay, was running in parallel, okay, with the loop over here and the transmit loop. So both are running in parallel. So the receive thread, what will happen? It is basically... Uh, in a loop, okay, doing a serial read, okay, and once the data has been read, okay, you will deserialize it, and after you deserialize it, what you do is, you check whether it was okay. Again, if it was not okay because of some error, you will handle the error, okay, but as long as it was okay, what you will do is, you will call the function called handle packet. And in handle packet, what you do is, you look at the type of the packet, Okay, so in terms of command, you don't have any command packets coming from Arduino because commands are only sent from RPI to the Arduino. Okay, uh, but from the Arduino, we can get back uh, responses. So the er responses could be error uh, information such as uh, like check some error or some data error, uh, or it could be some message information which is related to uh, the encoder ticks and so on. Okay, so there are different types of uh, handlers. Uh, depending on what kind of information you are sending back from the Arduino to the RPI. Okay, and basically this is the sequence that runs indefinitely. Okay, because both the RPI side, the transmit and receive are both in an endless loop. Okay, and over at the uh, Arduino side, you also have a uh, the whole receive and send back as a endless loop. Okay, so this is basically how the whole um, structure has been built okay for this week's studio and i i hope you go through this code okay so i've not i'm not showing you all the functions here but these are the main functions related to how you interpret the protocol okay and this is important so that you understand how the arpa and the arduino are actually communicating with each other okay so this is a, a good framework already given to you okay so please understand it okay and the objectives for the greater studio are fairly doable Okay, in terms of uh, just extending on the code that is already given to you. Okay, uh, so please uh, read through the material and come prepared for the studio. Okay, so I hope this um, explanation has given you some better insight into the code that is given to you. Okay, and uh, if you have any doubts, uh, please uh, feel free to consult me during the class. Okay, thank you.